Okay, part B, we're asked to find the equation of the tangent plane at the point 3, 1. So let's think back to what we need to write the equation of any plane. We need a point that's on the plane, and we need a normal vector. So let's remember how this works. If I'm given z as a function of x and y, then the point z0 is going to be the function value at x0, y0. So in our particular case, the z0 is going to be f of 3, 1. How do we get the normal vector? Well, once again, we have z equals f of x, y, and I can think of that as being z minus f of x, y equals 0. And writing it this way allows me to think of this as being a level surface of a function of three variables, f of x, y, z. And so we have a theorem that says the normal vector then is going to be the gradient at the point we care about. So what's the normal vector going to be? Well, if I take the gradient, if I write it this way, take the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, and then the partial derivative of that with respect to z is 1. And so the normal vector at the point that I care about is the gradient at the point I care about. It's going to be this guy. And you may recall in class we call this guy the upward normal. Because the z component is always going to be positive. So that's the generic setup in this particular situation. Now we need to go back and fill in all the details when x and y are 3 comma 1. Alright, so I've recorded here f and its partials in all their glory. And now what I need to do is evaluate them at 3, 1. That's the point that we care about. So what's f of 3, 1? I plug in 3 for x, 1 for y. I'm going to get 3 squared times 1, which is 9, minus 1 squared. So this works out to be 8. 8 to the 1 third is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's that. And remember, that's our z naught. Let's look at fx at 3, 1. Plug in x is 3, y is 1. I get a 6 here. I'm going to get an 8 in here, just like I did up there. 8 to the minus 2 thirds is going to be a fourth. So I get 6 times a fourth, which is 3 halves. Fy at 3, 1. I'm going to get uh, 9 minus 2 is 7. And I'm going to get 8 to the negative 2 thirds again, so that's a fourth. So I get 7 fourths. So I'm all set now for my tangent plane. I've got my normal vector n is negative fx at 3, 1, negative fy at 3, 1, 1. So I get negative 3 halves, negative 7 fourths, 1. And the point, x naught, y naught, z naught, that's the point p is 3, 1, 6. So with the normal vector and the point, I have everything I need to write my tangent plane. So here we go for the tangent plane. I take the x component times x minus the x coordinate of the point on the plane. So that's a negative 3 halves times x minus 3 plus the y component times y minus the y coordinate on the plane. Negative 7 fourths x 
excuse me, y minus 1. Plus the z component times z minus the z coordinate. And the all important equals 0. Don't forget, it's equal to 0. It's an equation of a plane. Let's try to clean this up a little bit. I get negative 3 halves x minus 7 fourths y plus z. And let's see what the constant term is going to be. I get a negative times a negative. It's a positive 9 halves, a positive 7 fourths, and a negative 6. So 9 fourths, excuse me, 18 fourths and 7 fourths will be 25 fourths minus 24 fourths gives you a positive 1 fourth equals 0. We can multiply both sides of this equation by negative 4 to make it a little more presentable. I'm going to get 6x plus 7y minus 4z minus 1 equals 0. Or to put it in the standard form that most people like, 6x plus 7y minus 4z equals 1. So that's the tangent plane. If you compare this formula to the formula of the original function, even though this is an approximation, this is much easier to work with than cube roots, squares, and, and all that other nastiness, as we'll see in Part C. All right, Part C, we're going to use our answer to Part B, which is that, to approximate this function value. So remember, this is the tangent plane at the point 3 comma 1. And since we've proved that f is differentiable, we're going to approximate what's going on on the actual surface by what's happening on the tangent plane. So when we're asked to approximate this, remember this would be the z value on the surface. So we're going to approximate the z value on the surface with the z value on the tangent plane. So what I need to do is plug x and y into this equation. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to plug in 3.1 for x and 0 0.8 for y. I'm going to solve for z on the tangent plane. So this is 18.6 uh, uh, this is 5.6, so that's going to be 18 and 5 is 23, so this is 24.2. So negative 4z is negative 23.2. Divide that by negative 4. And let's see, uh, I'm just going to go in five times, bring down the 32, so 5.8. So f of 3.1 comma 0 0.8 is going to roughly be 5.8. So that'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 10.